to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nantel. roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of need because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum, was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. The last style bender, Israel Adesanya, has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, he came into the UFC as one of the hottest prospects the Octagon had seen in years, and Israel Adesanya has done nothing to diminish that hype. Stuffed 12 takedowns at his UFC debut, and the expectation is that most opponents are going to try to ground the last style bender. Let's see if he can keep this fight up right here tonight. doing work with the jab. There's that counter game of Israel Adesanya in full effect early in this fight. He's so long, and he does such a great job of seeing and picking up reads of when you're gonna attack. The moment you enter is he hits you with those counter shots, and he really makes you pay for trying to engage him in the fight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The 
moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Body shot there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. And he caught the kick. Oh, how about the beautiful kick there from Israel out of Sanya? Eugene Behrman there in the corner, really liking that effort out of his pupil. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Just misses with the straight right. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Back and forth we go. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Lands with the lead right. Oh, big elbow. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, big right hand, yes. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Oh, looks like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. He's looking for that left hand. That was a big check. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Woo! Israel out of Sonny. I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. Looks as though he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. The offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, oh this could do it. You heard him. 15 seconds to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, wow, great jab there by Izzy. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not... One guy just headhunting. 
he is finding every opening that is presented to him. Oh! Oh! This one could be over soon. Sonya's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he's he can't even stand. Out of Sonya going for the leg kick. He misses. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Big, big strikes continue to land. one of the most dominant positions in MMA, is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some danger Sonya getting worked to the body here on the ground. It was the elbow there. He didn't think that would be the strike coming, and he paid for it. Oh! That is it! Oh! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.